Good evening, ladies. Um, so we're going to go over this month uh, kayaking techniques. Um, there is a lot to this. So we're just going to touch on basic parts of the boat, basic parts of the paddle, um, how to paddle, just different strokes. We're going to go over four different strokes and then how to get back into our kayak. Um, if you are interested in doing more than that, um, especially if you have a sit inside kayak, you want to know how to rescue and, you know, all these kind of cool things, please join us on our assistant guide kayaking training that we do once a year. And we go through all of it and it's so much fun. You'll feel a lot more confident in your kayak. Um, first things, there are two kinds of kayaks. Yeah, I would say two different classes of kayaks. So first off, we have today donated, well not donated, but I'm borrowing from Judy Hunsaker, a sit on top kayak. These are super common, especially if you have kids and are on a budget. Um, essentially, the sit on tops um, are pretty simple. They um, have holes in them. Those are called self bailing holes. So it's um, it's a closed system. This is all full of air, so hopefully it doesn't sink. And they're pretty bulletproof. And they float on top of the water a lot higher and can take some weight. Um, and are usually a little bit wider. So this is a sit on top kayak. Another kind of kayak is the sit inside kayak. Those are the ones that you see like on sports shows and the people who are the river kayakers or whatever. It's one where you're sitting inside and that edge comes around you and it has a little oval. This is called the cockpit. Um, and inside those kayaks, you might have, um, essentially they're kind of hollow. And what these kayaks, um, they're a little bit more narrow, can be a little bit more tippy, um, but they're made to be a lot more maneuverable. And the sit inside kayaks, you can have either a river kayak or a sea kayak. The river kayaks are shorter. Um, they're made for a lot more maneuverability um, in uh, like heavily obstacled waters. Um, and yeah, they're just a lot shorter. Your sea kayaks um, are a lot longer and um, are meant obviously for sea, um, flat bodies of water, things like that. The sea kayaks have um, some extra features inside of them. Um, um, for both a sea and a river kayak, you will have a spot that you want to pretend. Pretend I didn't want those. And at the cockpit's coming here, you actually have little pads right here for your the tops of your knees to push against. And that provides you some stability with those sit inside kayaks. Um, and then with a sea kayak, you actually have um, pedals down at the bottoms that you can rest your feet on. And sometimes you can even push back and forth and that um, adjusts the rudder in the back. Uh, that's pretty common. So that's kind of nice. Your sea kayaks can get really when you get a lot of cross waves and things coming along, it can they can start to turn your kayaks a lot more in the water. Um, so that just kind of that little rudder helps you kind of readjust a little bit. Um, so anyway, that sea and river, sit on top and sit inside kayaks. Now, as far as boat orientation, the front is called the bow. I always think because if it tips in, it's like bowing. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. And then the back is called the stern. Feel free to use those terms and everyone will think you're super cool. All right, and now we also have the paddle. Paddles can come in different types. Um, what we've got here is a symmetrical paddle. You can see that the way it's lined up, if I put them like this, the paddle um, blades, these are called blades. This is called our shaft. These blades are even. Sometimes they come in, you get them, and they are off center a little bit, which actually is really nice. It keeps you from spinning as much when you're paddling in the water. Um, but these ones are just a simple, this is a simple um, clip together kind of an um, paddle. So you'll see a lot of these too, which are just fine. As far as orientation of these paddles, you see that there is a short side um, and a like a long, like a narrow side and a deeper side. So we want the narrow side down like this. And then we also, there, um, these paddle blades are curved and you want that curve to be facing you. A big clue is if you look at the blade and the writing is on there and you can read it, then likely you have it oriented right. Um, also, we talk about a paddler's box. Um, you don't want to be in your kayak paddling like this. And you also don't want to be out like this. Uh, 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 uh. Um, what you want to do is find the center of your kayak, 
paddle here. Put it on top of your head. You're gonna look so cool. Um, and get your blades oriented up and down. And then have your arms, gonna find that middle. And then have your arms at a 90 degree angle. And keep your hands in that position. And that is actually called the paddler's box. This is where you want your hands. This paddle's a little small for me. I probably want something a little bit longer, but this is a kid's. This is actually a kid's kayak. Anyway, because it can fit in my living room. All right, so this is my paddler's box. So when I'm paddling, this is kind of what it's gonna look like. Does that make sense? And this um, position actually puts me in a, um, gives me, um, helps me to use my core, the strength of my core and the strength of my muscles really well um, when we're going. Um, so yes, fantastic tip. Make sure you use that. All right, we're gonna talk about four different strokes. First one is the forward stroke. Now the forward stroke is the most common stroke. Obviously we want to move forward. So what you're gonna do is there's four steps. There's the catch phase. So we're gonna put our, or our paddle down and dip it into the water. And then the power phase is when we're pushing it back. A tip in this section is when you are putting your arm down, I like to have this arm straight like that. And then as I'm using the power stroke, I'm straightening out this arm. So that one gets straight. Then I can dip it in here. Does that make sense? So you're going from straight arm to straight arm. That gives you a lot more power in your stroke. So we have the catch phase, the power phase, and then the release phase. We just kind of pull that up and then we're back to center again. So this is the forward stroke really self-explanatory. You want your blade to be in the water as well. Sometimes people just pedal in a little part of you. It's not gonna give you the strength and the power that you want. All right, so that's our first stroke is the forward stroke. Our second stroke is the, let me just bring my paper around, the reverse stroke. The reverse stroke is obviously very similar. We're gonna, this is called the drop phase. So I'm looking behind me. I'm putting that behind me and I am, Doing the same thing and pulling this forward. And this allows my kayak to um, move in that direction. So the reverse stroke as well. Um, and then we have the sweep stroke. The sweep stroke is used if you wanted to move your kayak um, in like a 180 or just do a nice easy turn. You can do small turns by just kind of paddling a couple times on one side or the other, or doing a backstroke and kind of readjusting. But if you want to do an easy, big turn, then you put your, you put this, um, your paddle in and you pull at the same time, all the way, and you're twisting your body at the same time. This is really hard to show in a living room and I'm really apologizing, but essentially this, keeping it in there nice and slow and strong will keep, um, will allow your whole kayak to move. So instead of your just short stroke, short, 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 we're doing these little short forward strokes. This is a deep, wide stroke. All right, so that's called the sweep stroke. Then our fourth stroke is called the draw stroke. Um, you wanna take your um, blade, um, and put it in the water perpendicular. So you're kind of just straight in like this. I'm reaching out, not so far I tip over, but reach out, dip it in, and bring the water, bring that paddle towards me. Dip it out. And this just brings your kayak into something like the shore, like to another kayaker, things like that. Um, if you keep that nice in the center of your kayak, not forward, not back, that should bring your kayak in nice and gentle as well. So there you go. So those are the four strokes of kayaking. Um, great to know and great to use. I'm gonna you show you, we like to show all our ladies, no matter what kind of kayak they're on, on any of our activities, how to get into your kayak when you fall out because it's going to happen. I like to have positive energy and think that it's not going to, but we want to prepare you for the fact that that could totally happen. So if I have, I can't show you on a sit inside kayak, 
In fact, the sit-inside kayaks are a little bit trickier because they don't self-bail. When they flip over, they start taking on water. So you actually wanna get that kayak and flip it over as fast as you can. And a lot of times you may just have to swim that to shore um, to dump it out with your friend, or you're gonna need another kayak to help get it on their kayak and then the two of you tip it over. And we do that obviously in one of our trainings. But um, for the sit and side kayaks that a lot of you guys are gonna be using this summer, it's really easy. I of course have my life jacket on, you would imagine. I have fallen out my kayak and I am panicking. And that's the first thing you wanna do is calm down, take a breath, don't panic, grab your paddle, which you have probably lost um, and bring that close to you. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is bring your kayak over, flip it over. Now, they're a little bit tricky. So what I like to do is I'm gonna float myself up to the kayak here. I gotta move that, sorry. All right. And then I grab the far side. A lot of times they have a handle or something like that. And then I push with this bottom hand See if I can pull it over like that. And then once this is over, it's already self bailing so we don't have to worry about that as much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out flat. And when you lay out flat like this, your butt and your feet will float up. And you can see I'm trying to keep this paddle in between me and the kayak. Um, if I, yeah, it's probably the best place I think for to keep it. Um, and then float my legs up. And then what I'm gonna do is switch my body up like this. It's probably referred to as a bullet whale technique, but anyway, put up your body up here like this. And the idea is that you're now getting your center of gravity on top of this boat. And then what you do is slowly turn around like this. And then ta-da, hopefully this doesn't float it too far. You grab it, and we are ready to go. So the technique, the tip, so for that, when you're to flip it over, you're gonna have one hand close to you, the other hand on the other side. If that's too hard, sometimes I'll do both hands on the far side and just go Wah! and try to flip it over um, in front of me. And then when you're trying to get in, make sure you have your feet, make sure your feet float up. That's so important because then you slide into the kayak like this, instead of like this. You're just gonna bang against it and it's gonna flip over again. Anyway, so those are your basic techniques for kayaking. I hope you have a fantastic summer and this provides you a little bit um, of education and you'll have a lot more fun. Have a wonderful evening. Oh, do you have any questions? <laughs> yeah, for gals. I just have a comment that I'll share yes, online please. for our um, assistant guides. Brian Nelson is going to offer a uh, free uh, first aid and certificate CPR certification, which is required for our assistant guides. And the only cost is the price of the book, which is I think less than 20. I think it was like 16 or something. But anyway, the dates are um, August 21st, which is a Saturday and also August 19th. So I think the 19th he's going to do, which is a Thursday evening, 19th he'll do CPR and the 21st he will do um, the first aid, the first half of the day. And he'll make that available for free um, and teach it in Provo. So that's all. I'll put, put more details about that. Great. And we'll email that to you ladies. So if anyone's interested in that, we are just so grateful to have a PA that can help us and provide information for us to have access to. We really appreciate him. All right. Any other questions? All right. Have a wonderful summer. And we're so grateful to know you ladies. <laughs>